What is up everyone, Nick here. Welcome to the show if you're new. Thanks for coming back if you're not. On this channel, we focus on companies positioned in the innovative disruption sphere. Companies poised to dominate the coming landscape by shifting the status quo. Over the past year, many of our transformative disruption plays have made huge gains and are expected to continue doing so as our world adapts and evolves. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at a fascinating company based in the health and wellness industry, an area that has shot into space in the past few years. This company recently had its IPO and is already up over 60% in just the past few weeks. There is plenty of room to run. Before we get into it today, check out our Patreon page. We have more content behind the scenes under the radar stocks, and this also gains you access into our private Discord channel. This is where you can see all of my trades in real time, our portfolios, and the chat is always popping off with great information about up and coming stocks. Make sure to always come to your own conclusions whenever allocating capital on the stock market, especially when allocating capital towards penny stocks. Remember that penny stocks do come with more potential rewards. Board. However, this is typically tied with increased risk. Disclaimer, this is a sponsored video. Make sure to come to your own conclusions, formulate your own decisions, do your own due diligence. That is your duty as a smart and calculated investor. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into it. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm first going to go over who the company is, what it is exactly they do. I'm then going to go over their business operations and where they see their company moving in the coming quarters. Lastly, I'm going to highlight their business analytics, statistics, balance sheet, and charting. All right, so the company of today's subject is called Ritual Superfoods, trading on the CNSX under ticker symbol RSF. This is a company specifically focused on plant-based elixirs targeting modern wellness. Now, what makes this company unique is the ingredients within these elixirs. They are harnessing the growth momentum currently in the mushroom hidden benefits of mental health, anxiety, and overall well-being. Ritual has three different elixirs currently, of which we'll get into shortly. And the idea here is that consumers can boost their immunity to improve brain function and adapt to stress through their products. Led by a team of scientists scientists, doctors, nutritionists, and experts, Ritual claims that their superfood mushrooms and herbal adaptogens are known to maintain a healthy and optimal immune system, support cognitive function and outlook, and manage daily stresses. So before we get into some really big moves they are making currently, let's first actually take a look at the science and the industry at large. Many of you will know I do have a degree in science, and I specifically scout out nanocap companies harnessing the potential future of drug treatments. Ritual harnesses this is the power of adaptogens, and these are non-toxic herbs, roots, and fungi which increase the body's ability to resist stressors. Their mushroom mycelium are harvested from U.S. mushroom farms, and their elixirs are made with the addition of limited and organic ingredients. The superfood industry is on a path to domination currently. The market is estimated to reach a value of $65.18 billion U.S. by 2025, with no signs of slowing. Grocery power Powerhouse Whole Foods recently named functional foods and adaptogens as their number one top food trend for 2021. The functional food market itself could grow to $275.77 billion by 2025 at a CAGR of 7.9%. Many consumers are much more in tune with their health and well-being than ever before. We are seeing the shift in the way people are fundamentally thinking about their bodies and their mindsets and how they can improve these aspects of their lives. According to Wendy Liebman, CEO of WSL Strategic Retain, states that people before the health situation were already beginning to practice proactive and preventative health wellness, and since the health situation, this has completely exploded. We have seen the rise of many companies based in the mushroom and functional food market in the past few years, and a lot of our stock plays have surged. The functional mushroom market is forecasted to rise a nearly 50 billion by the year 2025. Now, getting into some major news, the company has recently announced that it is launching premium food supplements across the United States. I do think this will be a massive market for the company as the US is a market that needs to be penetrated to achieve wide scale success. The health and wellness industry is gaining momentum within the states and there is plenty of room for nanocap companies to grow with such large demand. Ritual CEO states that, quote, The first national retail rollout is a major achievement for the Ritual brand. It validates both supply and demand for the category, specifically our product quality and the rapidly growing interest of consumers in functional superfoods. 
Ritual is distributing its product through drugstore chain powerhouse Rite Aid in the U.S. through Q2 and Q3 this year. Rite Aid is the third largest drugstore chain in the U.S. and reaches 1.6 million consumers every single day. Ritual's North American rollout will partake in two phases. They are expected to be within 3,700 stores across the U.S. and Canada in the first launch phase and an additional 14,000 stores in phase two, which could be as early as 2022. I really am keen on this rollout. They are making huge moves and as a retail investor, a main factor I look for is scalability and actually getting the product into storefronts. Although I am bullish on e-commerce and its potential in the coming years, I do still believe in the power of being in actual storefronts. I do like that Ritual is harnessing this. The company is also planning on expanding into the online sphere and launching new products to generate further revenue in the coming years. Their 2021 pipeline is poised to include a vegan chai rose latte collagen booster, this aids in skin hydration, a mood and energy matcha latte powder, and a superfood vegan creamer all extremely relevant products. They currently have three elixirs, chaga powder to support immune system as an antioxidant, lion's mane powder to support cognitive health and maintain inflammatory response in the brain, and reishi powder to calm and relax the body. I really do think their sleek and modern packaging and branding is quite strong, and I think this product is absolutely perfect for our growing health conscious landscape, especially within the millennial and Gen Z generations. All right, let's move into their analytics. They are up 66.67% since their initial public offering at the beginning of March. We are seeing the beginning of investor interest growing, and I really do think this is only the beginning. They are currently sitting at 90 cents Canadian per share. They have a substantial 52 week range already with a low of 36 cents and a high just south of $1 at 99 cents. They are projecting 2021 revenue of around 8.4 million and nearly doubling into 2022 at 16.7 million. Moving further ahead, they are guiding for a 2023 revenue of 25.1 million. So what's clear is the company does indeed see solid growth coming within the next few years with increasing revenue and is looking to carve out increased market share. Clara Securities has a bullish rating on the stock with a price target of $1.50, so potential upside of 60%. As always, when looking at a company, I take a deep dive into the company's management. Their CEO and director is David Kerbel. He has over 30 years of senior experience building relationships with huge names like Walmart, Costco, Walgreens, Safeway. He also has ample experience in the beverage industry. Warren Spence is the company's COO with over 25 years in the food and beverage industry. He has worked with huge brands as well like Red Bull. Stacey Gillespie is Ritual's CIO with over 25 years leadership in brand and product strategy. The list really goes on. I am really liking what I am seeing. Very strong management here. I really do think this company could continue surging as the functional food market projects around $275.77 billion market by 2025 alone. This is a massive market share and I think these early pioneering companies moving into the red hot psilocybin industry could greatly benefit in the coming landscape. There has recently been a roughly 800% spike in demand for mushroom varieties and I do not think this is going to slow down anytime soon. Anyways everyone, make sure to always come to your own conclusions whenever allocating capital on the stock market. I am not a financial advisor. Make sure to come to your own conclusions. Make sure to do your own due diligence and your own research whenever allocating any capital on the stock market. And this is especially the case when allocating capital to penny stocks. They do have more potential reward. However, like I said, this is paired with increased risk. Anyways, everyone, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Happy trading. Cheers.